odd Japan. Land of sushi, thousands of years of history, and some pretty awesomely weird video games. And today on Transplay, I am going to be showing you one of those games. It's Kodokoro Postnin, and in this game, we are delivering letters. I know that sounds kind of boring, but we are going to do actually in a pretty fun, inventive way. So, hajime kara! And I must advise anybody who gets a little carsick and nauseous that this might not be the game for you. And in this game, we only need two buttons. Left and right. Except, we don't move the character. We are going to defy gravity itself and move the world. The goal is to run past these mailboxes and drop in letters by rotating the world. As you can see, we can change all gravity and if you're not sick already, you're going to be soon. But this is such a great game that I'm surprised it hasn't ever been brought over here to the States. I think it would make a great audition to the DS library. And so let me show you how this game goes. So I'm running around delivering letters. So far it's pretty easy, just like most puzzle games you start out it's like when you start out Tetris you're on level 1 you're like how this game's so easy then you start to get to level 10 11 and you start to see where the challenge is so early on we're first just learning out the game mechanics we're running around and better get used to the sound she's this is pretty much the only sounds in the entire game her collecting coins and saying that phrase over and over again so your main enemy here is the time limit. We want to deliver all the letters before the time limit is up and we have a handy little map that shows us where the mailboxes are that we need to get to. So we have one more left. Get that right there. And there we go. On to level three. So far not that hard. But soon we'll be coming up to some obstacles that will impede your path and take off time limit which you realize every second starts to count towards the later levels so going around collecting coins for what probably just points maybe extra lives that's the usual case and good luck kitties come on don't know what it's for but it's one of those things you just have to get. Or in this case, it's not going to happen. Anyways, onward. So the great thing about this game is you really don't need to know any Japanese at all. And you're wondering, what was the story about? Well, pretty much she wants to be the best postal worker ever. And she has a robot for a dad and is rivaling with her sister. So now I probably lost half the people due to the constant spinning of this video. Let's see if we can finish this stage and not lose our lunch. Yeah, this is pretty much the game. Oh, 10 more seconds. Let's see if we can make it there in time. Oh, with a second to spare. And I've got a lot of points as to what I do not know, but I guess they're good. We get a little taste of storyline. That is your dad. And there is you. I could go back later and try to translate exactly what they're saying. But the gist is that she's to go deliver letters and be the best postal worker. Essentially that's the game. And she wants to make a lot of money. So onward, we are going on to, I don't even know what stage we're on. Now we've came across our first enemy. 
stamp boxes or juice dispensers or something like that. What you need to do is get up to running speed so you'll be able to crash through them. If you don't, that happens. You lose three seconds and it can get quite frustrating because you're going to need that. Later on, there's plants and spikes and right now we just got postal boxes. And sometimes you'll be caught in situations where you have no choice but you're going to get hit. I can time my running, right? There we go. All right, let's continue onward. So the game mechanics haven't changed that much. Uh, our new friend is now the little handy clocks right there. We definitely want to get those because some levels you won't be able to beat without getting those. And there's many times you'll be caught in situations where like this. Where you're just running around and around and around, trying your hardest, and you have no clue why you're not getting it. That's okay. We made it on to the next level. Excellent. So I highly advise this game. I think it would be a great addition to the DS, but usually what you need the DS for is when you are traveling, going on car trips. Sure, let's save. That would be great. And... Imagine making car sickness with this game. Yeah, maybe this wouldn't be a good idea to port this game onto the DS. So, that's the end of part one, and I will continue further on with this game. So, definitely check out this game. It's called Kodo Kodo Postman, and have fun everybody.